Hello everyone, this is Vikas from Networkers Home and today I have come with another video on basically how to increase your market value of your CV. The reason for this particular video is because I as a mentor get a lot of emails, a lot of messages from my ex-students, from uh, you know people on LinkedIn, especially network engineers who tell me that you know their career is not moving in certain direction or it's not going up and uh, they don't know the reason for it so i thought of you know uh, creating a video for it because i can't personally go and answer each of them so i will try to put in all the knowledge and the expertise that i've gained over the period of time into career counseling and career management uh, from my company networkers home so you know, I see a lot of people who uh, did CCI long back and a lot of people who did other certifications long back. And when they approach me that, you know, sir, what is the next step? The career is not moving ahead. Uh, I, I generally ask them their CV. And when I look at the CV, I see that they actually do not have modern technologies in their CV. They did some programs once, they did CCNA, CCNP once, or they did CCI in one track once. And they have basically not gone further after that. Okay, which means they have not updated their self with the latest technologies. Now imagine that for in today's time, for 10 years or 15 years, if you do not move yourself up with the latest technologies, right, and you still expect some growth, that's not going to happen right so uh, I generally advise people to you know do certain certifications which is very much relevant in today's time and probably next two to three years or five years uh, we will see more of uh, the jobs on these uh, certifications or these technologies rather I will call it so the first technology that comes uh, into my mind today which is in heavy demand is SD-WAN one must have SD-WAN skill at least from two to three vendors and Cisco should be the top vendor. So the other vendors are Vela Cloud or Silver Peak or Versa and uh, there are a couple of more uh, you know leaders, industry leaders into this domain. But Cisco is a very clear enterprise uh, networking leader in SD-WAN. The WAN devices have uh, basically uh, you know been not been invented for a very long time the kind of vpns we were doing were not centralized they required a lot of efforts the configurations were not stable the troubleshooting requires multiple endpoint uh, to go and you know do configuration etc so sd van is a complete replacement of everything that was old so it's a must to have technology in your resume if you do not have sd van whether you are a networking guy or you are a security guy in networking industry, uh, I really don't see that you will be able to move ahead uh, in, a lot into your you know, career. The next technology is again Cisco SD Access, which is also known as SACE. And uh, uh, in Cisco, the product name is DNA Center. And that is again uh, SDN implementation. SD WAN is more on the WAN side, SDN or uh, Cisco SD access is more on the LAN side. So you should definitely have it in your profile, in your resume, so, and you have to master these skills. You do not have to learn these skills, you have to master these skills because these are going to be essential technologies of tomorrow because they save a lot of cost to the companies. They are easy to implement. They give a single plane of troubleshooting, single plane of visibility, right? And uh, a lot of complex products like Cisco Ice and everything else can be easily automated with these products. So it makes your life easy in that sense and very feature rich, amazingly feature rich. Uh, so first is Cisco SD-WAN, the second is uh, Cisco uh, DNA Center or uh, SD Access that we call it. The third technology that I would like to mention here is uh, essentially uh, going to be uh, uh, Python basically or automation rather it's a good idea to learn full automation but if you can't afford that uh, you should learn minimum Python right and it's very easy 
it's basically if you have those uh, additional libraries like Paramico and you know a couple of more libraries it will be very easy all you have to do is from SS uh, Python use the SSH libraries to get into the Cisco device and then the similar commands that you have been doing right router OSPF 100 network this interface FA00 you have to just put them into a certain pattern and that will be executed uh, if you can learn Ansible, Puppet or Chef and these kind of tools, which are very similar, right? And uh, they are now part of the CCNA, CCNP syllabus also in a sense that CCNA covers the introduction and CCNP covers a little. Uh, they have a full certification if you want to go with the automation in CCNP level. Also CCNA level, CCNA DevNet is the certification. So that is another technology which is in huge demand. So three technologies as of now. And then two additional technologies I suggest to the security people. If you have a firewall knowledge, firewall of, in terms of Palo Alto is in great demand, uh, Cisco FTD is in great demand, Fortinet is in great demand, Checkpoint is in great demand. These four firewalls, and they are almost similar, right? Setting up the interfaces, putting, putting them into zone, doing netting, configuring OSPF and some kind of uh, routing protocols on them. Uh, and you know the basic uh, these are all graphical tools very easy to operate so firewall is a must have uh, to most of the people who are looking for at least network security jobs and the last product i'll suggest you is cisco ice cisco ice is used in fortune 500 companies it is one of the best selling product the cisco has and an industry leader into identity management products there's no comparative product in the industry it is clear market leader and the demand for these engineers is very very high so you know the solution for most of the problem is that we do not change with the time which we should have uh, you know done as a strategy every five years you have to update yourself because the technology will keep on changing right there are world-class companies disrupting the old industries and if we do not move with that the the career our career is not going to move any, anywhere okay so these are the five technologies that i suggest every network engineers to have in their resume for an amazing growth and they are very much interrelated you will find them in every organization and if you're looking for international jobs also the you know from indian companies sending you an h1b visa or the projects abroad that that, that those are the kind of jobs where you will get the growth so the OSPF, BGP, MPLS, those are the core requirement. You must have that in your resume. You cannot avoid that, right? Those are, I will today call them basics, super basics. But what you really need is these five uh, certification or technologies that we discussed today, Cisco SD-WAN, Cisco SD-Access, Python for network engineers or automation, I will rather say, uh, Cisco ST, uh, FTD and Palo Alto firewalls or some kind of firewalls. and Cisco ice and other than that if you want to build a, you know a little bit extra into your career you want to have a better opportunity try a little multi-vendor in terms of uh, you can also try Velo cloud uh, Vila cloud and you know other products uh, basically uh, for SD van kind of solutions and SaaS kind of solutions as well so these are my five choices guys and these are my advice for all those who want to move ahead and they are at stuck at 10 15 lakhs package their their career is not moving above 15 lakh rupees these technologies are must to have uh, last item that i forgot is which is very easy to master for network engineers because it is 50 percent networking is the cloud have some cloud skills okay and it's very easy for network engineers it's a piece of cake right you have all the subnets and vpcs is like your router and switch you break it into multiple pieces security uh, groups are acls right and so basically very easy to master these technologies and uh, this is what is my advice for all of you if you have uh, any further question please put them into comment and i will try to answer them and uh, you have a great time bye bye